Hi, it's Dave T here with the next instalment of my cinematic breakfast series. This time reviewing the Kilner traditional coffee grinder. Perhaps unsurprisingly, the Kilner comes in quite a traditionally styled package with a simple single sheet of instructions. It arrives partly assembled with a spare airtight lid to use in place of the grinding bowl when storing coffee and the crank arm detached from the grinder. Attaching the arm is a simple task and whilst doing so the grind can be adjusted by removing the locking bracket and then turning the star shaped nut. This raises or lowers the grinding core and whilst it takes a few attempts to get your preferred grind, once done it does remain set. Load your chosen beans into the stainless steel hopper. Then with a firm hand on the jar, simply turn the handle to grind the beans. I was pleasantly surprised with how little effort was needed to use the grinder and can usually grind a hopper full of beans in about three minutes. You'll need four or five hopper loads for a full jar so this is perfect for the solo coffee drinker or the family that enjoys an early morning workout. One minor criticism is that the knurled nut that holds the handle on can come undone whilst grinding unless you really tighten it up firmly. I have to confess I chose a traditional hand powered coffee grinder mainly for the way that it looks on film. After using it for several weeks though I found that the effort required to grind coffee by hand far from being an annoyance is actually quite enjoyable. A small step back into tradition, away from the usual modern life of just pressing a button and waiting. It also looks quite nice on the countertop. I hope you enjoyed this review and if you did then please show your appreciation by hitting that like button and to see more in my cinematic breakfast series please check the playlist or subscribe to my channel. Have a great breakfast and as always, thanks for watching.